Hey, what's up guys? I'm Matt and this is my new channel, A Change of Scene. Thanks for checking out my channel. This would be a place where I do reviews, rock and scene content. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Don't mind my room situation. Currently deployed, but looking forward to going home in a couple months. Today we're gonna to be talking about the new Dead American album, New Nostalgia, and that's exactly what this album delivers. Dead American features lead singer Cove Reber. You may remember Cove from his time with Seosin. If Seosin was a sandwich, then Anthony Green would be the bread, Cove would be the meat, and Solid Ground would probably be the cheese. Most recently, Cove's been known as being the frontman for Scary Kids Scaring Kids, who are going on tour this upcoming spring with Drugs and Dead American. I guess Cove didn't want to do double duty, so Craig Mabbitt from Escape the Fate will be stepping in to do vocals for Scary Kids Scaring Kids. Hopefully we'll hear some new music from Cove and Scary Kids in the future because I've been really looking forward to that project. Dead American's previous EP, The Shape of Punk is Dumb, came out in 2018. It had a couple singles come out since, including False Intentions and Wonderings in 2019. I checked out both of those singles when they came out. And to be honest with you, at the time, it just wasn't for me, even though I'm a big fan of Cove, but I just didn't vibe with it for whatever reason. Fast forward to December 2021, and Dead American releases their single Choke. It's got a sneaky, heavy riff throughout the entire track, as well as lofty vocals from Cove, and immediately made me be like, what has this dude been up to? The last I had heard from Cove was on the Lead Singer Syndrome podcast with Shane Told, where Cove had mentioned that because of his smoking cigarettes and whatever was going on with his voice, he just couldn't nail whatever range he was looking for or feel comfortable with that. When this single choke came out, I was totally blown away by the improvements that he's made. I don't know if he's switched over to a vaping or what, but it's definitely made an improvement. My first impressions of the album, New Nostalgia, is this dude is tired of people's shit. He's tired of people's shit and them not doing anything about it. This album sounds like Cove pushing back against that. He also sounds like a guy that needed to get away for a little bit and find his sound, and in my opinion, he did. There's an underlying theme to this album. At first, I wasn't sure of it. There's definitely a political undertow to this album. It's definitely made clear when in the song Deceivers, he says, politics, a pile of shit, either way it smells the same to me. Do you feel the same? Do you feel like me, like you've been lied to? And I think it's safe to say that a lot of us feel the exact same way. This album talks a lot about the perils of people falling for everything. And it's safe to say, I think a lot of us have seen some of that too. Besides the singles on this album, one of the tracks that stands out to me is the track Hollow Voices. His ability to cover clean and dirty vocals almost seamlessly really shines through on this track. There's also a lot of stay power with the choruses on this album, such as Can't Go Back and Vertigo. One of the slower tracks on here that really stood out to me was Rena's song, which is about loss and addiction. I know a lot of us have experienced at least some of that over the past couple of years. Rena's song actually takes a different approach to loss, and it talks about how the survivor of loss can also experience mental health issues. Another standout track is the song Anything Different. To me, the song is about a lot of people feeling stuck in their current situation. But as long as you're progressing and trying to do better, then that's all that matters. In my opinion, this is definitely a comeback album for Cove Reber and the other guys of Dead American. This album definitely grabs that nostalgia feeling without covering old material. I'm really looking forward to seeing Dead American live and Cove with whatever project he's got going on. Unfortunately, I'll still be deployed when he goes out on the road with the band Drugs, but maybe I'll catch him in fall or next year. Once again, thanks for checking out my new channel. I really do appreciate all the support. And if you want to like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that too. See ya.